Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed our channel till now, then please subscribe it. And if you have not watched our previous videos, then watch it. In this video, we will implement server side validation functionality. So, basic validation we are already doing at client side. So, let's see what type of validation we can add at the server level. Before the start, Anything let's run and see whatever we added till now it's working fine or not. See everything is working fine, toaster notification is coming properly. Let's start implementing server-side validation for all kind of input field. There are so many annotations provides by Javax validation API. Those validations we can directly add in model class. We can use Hibernate validator API as well but this time we use Javax. Add validation like if some text character count should belong to the particular size and if not valid then return message. Valid annotation is very important otherwise validation does not work. For error messages, we will create the utility class so same can use anywhere. We will maintain JSON response same as success JSON. We will one more object to maintain status in JSON response. So based on the status we'll check what kind of toaster should come. So this generalized method will help to add error JSON response. Ok so this is done, now let's add the check for toaster based on the status.
Let's check server side validation is happening or not. It's coming as you can see how much simple is it. Let's add one more field other than a character like a digit. For example, I'm adding pin code in the address form. The pin code column is coming let's try to save, let's see save is working or not. See we just add the new field and default validation is coming. Validation is coming but not validating completely. Because we added validation for length only so min and max is working. What if we entered the number in character text box and character in digit text box? See it is accepting number also in the country box. To handle such kind of scenario pattern annotation is there. That accept regular expressions so we'll create the separate class and put all. Here I will define some regular expression to validate string and digits. Character pattern, it allows the only character in both the case and space also. Same way create a pattern for pin code like six digits only. Let's see how to use regular expression in model class. Let's check and see it's working or not. See it's working fine, let's test some more combinations. It's working fine. Here an error message fields are coming as it is. So instead of default, it should come in the proper format. We will create a method to make it text proper. Don't judge too much by this code, this is just the simplest way. Let's check it's coming proper or not.
it's coming but the first character is small because instead of upper I selected lower. See now it's coming the perfect way. It's working for all the scenario if the input is correct then error count is reducing. Now let's practice and implement the same thing for user model also. Before adding anything let's add some more fields like email and mobile. So we can add some more possible combinations. See how easy it is same way can add any number of fields. Let's remove password from the table and add email and mobile. Just copy pasted and forgot to change the password to text. Let's check update is working or not. See it's working. Coming in red because forgot to add status to service. Let's start practice for server-side validation for user. Now it's just a copy-paste so it helps you to remember what are things are required. For use a rid will allow character and digit both but it should be 3 to 6. The same way will add validation for email, will create regular expression also. Let's check validation is working or not for user. It's working but free email is not working. I think forgot something. Let's check again hope everything will work accordingly.
everything is working fine and see how much simpler it is. Let's add a new record and see all validation is coming or not. Everything is working fine, let's add a new record for address also. Both user and address server side validation working fine. Let's review whatever we added. I hope you are like this video then please subscribe our channel.